What's going on, Port fans? Welcome back to another video on the channel. And today we're going to preview round 22. It's Port Adelaide versus Melbourne at the MCG. This Saturday night, it's going to be a great clash um, in, on the biggest stage at the G uh, for a crucial game for both Port Adelaide and Melbourne. It's a game that's uh, highlighting Port Adelaide's potentials to be a top four team while Melbourne are holding on to any sort of hope they can make um, to well, play finals, really. Um, going into this game. So it's going to be crucial. It's going to be a big one. And I'm very much looking forward to it. Back at the MCG, we don't normally get games at the MCG this late in the year. And it's a real, I don't know, build up into what could be a hectic final series. So to get a bit of a an MCG rub, uh, it's going to be very, very good. So let's get straight into it. And let's preview round 22. Uh, before I get to absolutely anything, round 24, the fixture against Fremantle has been officially announced as the Sunday Twilight game. And whilst... I hate that time slot, and I think for such a big game and big circumstances, you'd love all eyes on uh, the game. The time slot doesn't fit the circumstance, in my opinion. I know though the AFL want people or having a game late in the round to sort of rest hopes on what possibility could be uh, for that game and, and what could end up being. So um, I understand the uh, atmosphere around it, but at the same time, you know, I think a game like that could be well equipped to be a Friday night or even a, a Saturday night clash. But regardless, you know, it is what it is. So we'll uh, be looking forward to that one round 24 against the Frio Dockers to see exactly, you know, if we're going to make finals or where potentially we will end up on the ladder come season end. This game against Melbourne is going to be even more crucial though. Coming off two big wins against the Swans and Carlton, it's Port Adelaide's time to now play a team that's Probably desperate. I think the D's are they're really really desperate in terms of you know getting a win. They just didn't quite get the job done against the D against um, you know the Dogs last week and the week before. Obviously they lost to GWS and you know their season's almost pretty much done and dusted. They probably need to win their last three to be even in contention. But you know with with a massive work ahead of them, I don't think uh, they'll be making it. But they're still going to be hungry and they're still going to be wanting to challenge a team. Inside the eight, like Port Adelaide, uh, to prove credentials and even you know, any sort of hope you have left, you always become desperate at this time of the year for the Ds. So I think they're going to be quite dangerous. Um, they're not going to be having Stephen May out there, which quite ironically, it's very funny to me because I'm pretty sure Lever didn't play in the first game this year um, where they kissed, you know, they, they got the job done in a close margin. They'd kick straight and that was about it. That's the reason they won the game. Uh, whereas Port, you know, missing opportunities. But I think in a game like this, at the G, it's crucial that, that Port Adelaide come out firing the same way they have the last couple of weeks. You know they've been really, they were really, really good against Carlton in the second half, and even that first quarter was, you know, pretty uh, memorable. And then last week against the Swans was the perfect, perfect game. Like it was the perfect performance by Port. And you know, I the one thing that worries me about Port coming into this one is, you know, we've just had a we had a, have a seven day break after having an eight day break. We've had two great wins. I don't want to get comfortable. I know this time of the year you can't get comfortable. It's just physically not possible um, for a team to get comfortable in where they're standing and you just got to keep trying to improve and, and have that mindset. So um, I don't want us to be comfortable and come in against a side that's lesser ranked and, and we, we find it you know a bit easier. I don't think the Ds are, are as easy. You know They've got the best Premier Ruckman in the comp and in Max Gorn. You know, they've still got an elite midfield um, and whilst they'll be missing... Um, you know, um, Stephen May down back. They're still going to have great, you know, reliable sources to come in and replace that role. So I don't want us to get comfortable going into this game. The mental edge we have is, you know, we've, we've beaten the top side, beaten a couple of top sides over the last couple of weeks, and it's changing the formula of the season. Um, and I, I know. We sit here as Port fans and we're like, far out, man, well, why not now? Like, the mentality has definitely changed. It's the same with the players. They've had a mental change as well. Um, I just don't don't want us to get comfortable. It's a crucial game. It's a game in the MCG. We don't get them regularly. We've got to take our opportunity. A win here against the Ds opens up so many more opportunities. The last two games are obviously a showdown in the prison bars and then Frio away. In their own rights, three different games, three different propositions, and three results that can change the agenda of the whole year. The Ds at the MCG, crucial game to win. Uh, the, the Crows in a showdown, again, a crucial game because we haven't won a showdown in a couple of years. And then lastly is uh, Freo away, you know, the last round of the year playing at what could be a top four side away from home. It's a finals-like performance that you've got to put in. So three different um, applications you're going to have there. And this one against the Ds is, is something that I think 
Now, if we apply it correctly, kick straight, we've got an informed Georgiades. Dixon looks good. Asava up forward. You know, our structure looks so much better. Midfield has been performing really, really well. Our defense looks solid. Um, and there's not a lot of change at all. Like, you want to mention selection. You know, Todd Marshall's got to come through the, the sample. I think, you know, as simple as that. Um, I, I feel like Narkel is probably the only one. Um, it has a potential to be dropped for something, for someone in particular, but there's no real asset to say that could come in and perform that role. Now, Frankie Evans performed really well last week with a couple of goals. Everyone had their role and played their role. So, you know, I think a lot of people have to prove themselves in the Magpies outfit, and I don't see anyone breaking in. So Narkel could potentially be uh, the sub again, which is unfortunate for him. But at the same time, you know, when your team's going that well, you don't want to have an unchanged, you don't want to change your outfit, you don't want to change what looks awesome, what looks great. You know, we're very attacking. We know how to split uh, a zone now, and we're looking a lot better than what we did, say, six weeks ago. So matter of mindset, uh, and I think Ken and the coaches will, will realize that as well when we, when we get to selection. So it's nice to come into a preview and talk about selection and be like, no, just unchanged. All right, let's move on. You know, it's, it's, yeah, it's one of those things that... Um, it, it builds confidence and having an unchanged outfit like we did last week um, to come into this one and, yeah, be I'm hoping unchanged again uh, will prove a big, big point. So, yeah, it's a pretty exciting when we have an unchanged lineup. Going into this round, my tip this week is Port by 23. Uh, I feel like it won't be as, comf uh, as comforting or as easy as last week. Uh, seemed as easy. Obviously, we put on a complete performance and, you know, we soak that in and we take that all in and I've watched the highlights countless amounts of times. But, um, you know, a different sort of outfit this week. The Ds will come out. We know, you know, we, we always seem to have a bit more pressure when we travel. So I think it'll be a lot closer. Uh, I think we just run away with it. What reminds me of this game is, you know, the Essendon game last year um, where we won with Houston after the siren. So there's a bit of that about this one. I think the conditions are supposed to be okay, though, so um, we'll keep that hopefully um, close by and we'll just play an attacking brand of footy and make sure we get the job done, but I think uh, we'll be too powerful for, for the Ds. Let me know in the comments below, Port fans, about what you think about this game. It's going to be crucial for our final chances, let alone our top four chances and credentials for the remainder of 2024. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more Port Adelaide and AFL content to come your way. My name's Anthony, and as always, gun fair.